Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible. From my handwritten articles. Opinion paper. This 10th of July 2020. Sunday's article. Mario Nobin should be questioned under warning by Central Criminal Investigation Division. Some 4,000 people are expected at the 11th of July trade unions protest rally. Aware, some political ticks now holier than thou will try to steal the show. Never before has a Prime Minister's office interfered that much in Mauritius Sanat and Dharma Temple's Federation election, but history says David defeated Goliath. A hello, friends. Warm welcome to this 10th of July 2020 opinion paper. We will try to throw some light on three topical issues influencing us all. Our line of reasoning should not necessarily be that of yours, too. It can be wrong. Judge for yourself. Take only the best and leave the rest. Bon lecture. Best wishes for a great weekend. B. Our young and student readers column. 1. First, yesterday's paper. We had highlighted 23 English phrases or expressions for you all. And to make assurance double sure, we had consulted our four favorite dictionaries 55 times. To be honest with you, we learn more than you do. It is a pleasure to improve our English and broaden our general knowledge, every day. And at times, every minute with the British Broadcasting Corporation. Follow our example, you will succeed. Two develop your powers of observation. That is very important for any living beings, people and animals. We all learn by observing things around us. The baby, too, learns by listening and observing. Scientists have developed great things, by their powers of observation. For example, I observed the fifty-something birds, I feed them every day, for a long time, before writing the last two articles. Therefore, Think and observe daily. Got it? See tomorrow's 11th of July rally of the trade unions in Port Louis. 1. Rewind to the last four articles of 29th and 30th of June, and 1st and 2nd of July, and some others. We believe in such non political peaceful protests. They are powerful deterrents. They keep the authority on their toes. They scare away the abusers, the looters the exploiters and the lawbreakers. Such movements are good signs of democracy. And they are effective non-violent weapons, to keep the population alert, active and mobilized. We stop here. Got it? 2. There is the open race meeting at Champ de Mars tomorrow, as from quarter past twelve in the afternoon. The organizers should end their rally before noon. 3. I have some experience of such mass rallies. The 22nd of June 1979 successful civil disobedience should serve as a lesson. I had taken a back seat. I controlled and led from behind. I was humble in success. I gave others the credit. That should be the case tomorrow. I fear some of the trade union leaders will try to steal the show. There are two who always steal the limelight. They should not. The rally should be a symbolic one. Four. Also, I fear a political tick who had greatly benefited from Navin Ramjulam, now holier than thou, will be in the forefront, to steal the genuine trade union leader's thunder. His agenda? His own. 5. Anyway, we have deemed it appropriate to warn the leaders. Our readers of Port Louis should make it their duty to participate, look at wider pictures. 6. I am expecting some 4,000 people. Best wishes. Very often, some union leaders sour the milk when victory is close at hand. Heaven forbid. Modesty is the mantra. D. Prime Minister's Office directly interfering in 2nd of August Temple's elections. 1. These points of view are but the follow-up to the last ones, on the reasons why the Prime Minister has naively, if not, foolishly squandered godsend rare golden opportunities, and bungled the period of grace and goodwill. Can a lawyer with a British education make so many silly mistakes? Your reply could be as good as mine. 2. The election for the Mauritius Sanat and Dharma Temples Federation will be held on next 2nd of August. 
Why is it so important? That because the MSDTF controls the main chivalry function at Grand Bassin, last chivalry, 21st of February, it was Navin Ramjulam who was their chief guest. Not the Prime Minister. 3. Never before has a government interfered so blatantly in the Mauritius Sanat and Dharma Temples Federation elections. Likely candidates, against the MSM, backed Delthuman Group, have been called at the Prime Minister's office and threatened. The 14-year regime thugs of Navin Ramjulam, voice of Hindu, are now with the MSM group of Delthuman. Ministers and the intelligence services have been unleashed, to help the latter. It is a fight between a pot de fur and a pot de terre for now. Even then, in the Bible, 1 Sam 17, small David had defeated and killed the Philistine giant Goliath. 4. Fresh anti-jug north winds are blowing across the country. And the winner will be the group which promises to a. depoliticize the sacred lake, chivalry and all religious festivals. b. give Grand Bassin its lettre de noblesse. c. Restore the aura of sanctity, holy and religious character, public confidence and peace of mind. D. Follow the example of the Catholic Church, no politician addresses their religious gatherings. Their trained volunteers work wonders. E. And serve the needs and interests of Gunga Talao believers. And not be served and be politically rewarded by cheap and anti Shivji rotten politicians. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.